leaves on the trees, and the moonlight is shining on the ice. I can see everything. I'm skating. I'm a little kid, and I'm skating around the trees. And I come to a haunted house. I think those are scary, so I'm going to wake up. <laughs> Kurt, that's my brother, can we go to the haunted house together? Dino, go back to sleep. We'll go in the morning. same ice. I'm skating. I come around the trees. I'm getting better at it. I'm really loving it. And I come to the haunted house again. Only this time, I go inside. I open the door. And there's a light. Is that a mouse? Is that a ghost? Come on here. five years old, and I'm going to learn how to play hockey and skate. I get my first set of skates, the double blades. <clears throat> Stability. In the open air, outside, I learn how to skate on a pond. I'm scared. It's slippery. I'm kind of walking, you know. I'm getting in a little bit, a little bit of glide. Oh, I'm getting some speed. Oh, 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 oh. My dad, he's there to catch me. Thank goodness. I get on the ice rink. I'm a little bit better. I'm a little bit faster. The oh, boards! I'm eight years old. I'm gonna drive my Zamboni. <laughs> the smell of the ice, it's like an elixir. It goes right through into my blood, and I'm gonna play hockey. I'm a peewee. I'm a midget. That's right, my first hockey game. Give me that puck. I got it. Shoot. Goal! Nothing more exciting than a kid, eight years old, scoring a goal. Better as a goalie. Post. Waffle save. Skate save. Whoa, double play. Whoa. I'm down. I'm up. I'm back. Glove save. We're good. <laughs> Twelve years old. We're in first place, police athletic league. We go to Canada. We are a good team. I'm one of the fastest skaters. We practice all the time. All the freestyle, all the padding, all the sweat. You lose weight when you're on the ice. But what I did when I was on the ice, my dad would take us on every Saturday. They could. It's free skating. The Civic Center. I had raced my buddies. Challenge. I'm ready. Oh yeah! Spray. Those are the girls in the middle. <laughs> Figure skating. Very good. Ha! I get him again, and I win that race. And I take a rest lap. That's what you do after you exert yourself in sprinting. And as I do, what happens next? Changes my life forever. You see, I didn't see him coming. He came from behind. His arms flailing like this, and he said, Watch out! He hit my head. I went flying off the ice, onto the ice, sliding on ice. My head hit with a crack into the boards, and I was out. I'm big 
picked up on my father. And I look to the ice, and it's cracked, and there's blood. My head has been cracked open. He carries me. He puts me on the bench. He takes his skates off as fast as he can. And he picks me up, and he runs me to the car. He opens the door. He puts me in. He says, hold the towel to your head. It'll stop the bleeding. I'm scared. It hurts. Ah, I'm crying. I'm holding the towel. He drives. He's going as fast as he can to the hospital. Stay calm. Just keep it on your head. We pull in the hospital. And I go unconscious. And I wake up to my father and the doctor talking. They're not going to operate. It's too risky. I become mute. I can't speak. It's a strange thing. When someone says something to you, you're in pain. You don't know what's happening to you. You're scared. And you can't answer back. I'm there in the hospital for three days. I go home. Three weeks later, I go to school. I have seizures. And I moved part of the time. And the teachers are told this. I'm wearing a neck brace. My neck is stiff and I walk like this and I have to turn my body to see things. Half of the kids are laughing at me. Half are concerned. Two years later, I get on the ice again. My dream to be a hockey player. And imagine getting on the ice and not feeling that comfort, that confidence. The dream, as I was skating, I could feel melted. I couldn't handle the puck the same. I wasn't there. My legs weren't the same. Never played hockey again. Fast forward. I'm in med school. Two jobs. I'm really going at it. I'm late almost every morning at my morning professor's class. He laughs at me. And I'm there one morning. My hands start shaking. Oh no. I excuse myself, no one notices. And I get to the bathroom. What's happening to me? I'm shaking bad. My head, I'm dizzy, I don't know. Oh, oh. I brace myself. I stop the convulsion. Somehow, that time. But not for long. That year, I have two more seizures. The first time, I realized something as it was happening to me. My head was spinning so much. I willed myself to stand and go in the direction of the dizziness. I was like a figure skater. It's crazy. I was on the tops of my toes. I kept turning. And I wouldn't be dizzy. Imagine that. I would spin 10 minutes. It was unbelievable. The second time it happened, I did that too. Only the second time, I saw a light in the middle of my head. And it was burning. My shaking happened. Almost instantly, I became dizzy. I was going out. The light turned into a circle. I couldn't control my body. I was shaking. Oh, the pain. It felt like my head was cracking open and a thousand crickets in my head. But I again willed myself to stand. And I started to spin again. Again. I was like unwinding. And as I was unwinding, I 
body slow down and my spinning and the seizures came to a stop. I've never had another seizure. 